I did a case on the campaign that Senator Obama ran against Senator Clinton for the, uh, for the primary uh, to, to, to decide which of the two would become the Democratic candidate for, for president. And I, it was very clear that, that Obama was using the internet very well. Clinton was also using the internet and she was using all the same tools, but she was kind of crippled by the um, burden of being the, the, the front runner. Let, let, me, let me show you um, how that played out when, when each candidate announced that they would be a, a contender for the, for the presidency. Here is um, Senator Obama announcing that he will be running in January 07, I believe it was, that he'll be running for, for against uh, whoever else is running to become the Democratic candidate for the, for the presidency. Hi, everybody. This is Barack Obama. I want to talk to you a little bit about how we turned away from politics and the very idea of government in this country and what we can do to restore some sense that politics matters. One of the things that I've been incredibly encouraged about in this campaign is as I travel around the country, you get this hunger that people want to make a difference. Young people in particular are hungry to figure out, is there a way for them to get involved? I think that there is, uh, not just through volunteering on campaigns, but also sharing your ideas, your energy, the things that are making you passionate. Uh, okay, don't worry about what he's saying. Look at his body and look at what's in the background. All right? Yeah, he's leaning forward. Yeah, he's, he's getting into the camera. Yeah, and saying, I, I, you know, I will let you talk to me. And cuts off to children playing in the background. And in the back, what on earth is going on in the background there? The control room. Yeah, he's, he's in the middle of, of something very active. Now, take a look at the equivalent, same month, from um, Senator Clinton. Uh, where did I put it? Yeah. Here is Senator Clinton announcing her candidacy. One month ago, I began a conversation with all of you, and so far, we haven't stopped talking. Okay, you, you, you see the difference. You know, <laughs> just from a semiotics point of view, why is she doing that? Yes. Yeah. Old school. Why, do you th do you, if you were her campaign consultant, if you were her marketing specialist, would you advise her differently? That's the difference. She's been in the White House. That's the White House in the background, I think, and they're trying to suggest. She's talking to you from the White House. She was there for six years. She was then in the U.S. Senate for two terms. Him, he hasn't even finished his first term in the Senate. She's a real person. She is the heir apparent. She must win this campaign because she ran the Democratic Party for six years. Everyone owes her a favor. She has the money. She has the resources. She must look presidential. That is her, her, um, her brand equity. She is the presidential candidate who has practically been the president already. He is, he's got everything wrong. He, he hasn't got any political record. Nobody had ever heard of him. Um, he's the wrong color. We've never had a black president. Uh, it, it, everything is wrong with him. And so he has nothing to lose. And this will turn out, I think, to be the crucial fact about the internet and the great news for Croatia is that on the internet, being powerful is a way of being in trouble. Power has a way of looking terrible. So, and here's what people do to you if, you, if you're powerful and they have an Apple computer at home and, um, and, uh, and the ability to... So she's, she's saying, um, you know, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna... And that's really good, because I hope to keep this conversation going all the way to November 2008. And as part of that, I intend to keep telling you. So you see the slip. I'm going to have this conversation with you until the time of, of the election. And as part of this conversation, I'm going to keep telling you <laughs> a little slip, maybe consistent with being you know, the president. The president has conversations that involve you shutting up and the president telling you what, what's going on. But remember, this is the internet. 
So when you make a slip like that, you don't get away with it. And um, within days... One month ago, I began a conversation with all of you, and so far, we haven't stopped talking, and that's really good. I intend to keep telling you exactly where I stand on all of the issues. I'm looking at how to help you and other people who are hardworking like you. And I've really been impressed by how serious people are. Because we all need to be part of the discussion if we're all going to be part of the solution. I don't want people who already agree with me. I want honest, experienced, hardworking, patriotic people who want to be part of a team, the American team. Um, I hope you've learned a little bit more about uh, what I'm believing and trying to do and really helped this conversation about our country get started. I hope to keep this conversation going all the way to November 2008. So the images, of course, come from the famous Apple commercial 1984, and this is the, the Apple logo, but it's BarackObama.com. Um, do you think Ob Obama made that, camp, that commercial? No, no. But the reason that I, I show it is because the person who did make it worked for the internet arm of, of Obama's campaign, a, a group called Blue State Digital, who had uh, been working in politics for the, for the previous four years and, and knew quite a lot about, um, about, about using the internet. In fact, one of the members of the Blue State Digital team was one of the founders of Facebook. Uh, what's his name? I'm blocking on the name right now. But there's a very close connection. And in that Blue State Digital team was a young guy uh, with an Apple computer who, as soon as he saw that slip up by, by Senator Clinton, made this commercial and the next morning was fired. <laughs> Obviously, he had to be fired. They patted him on the back and said, go away, you know, come back after the election. We like what you've done, but we can't possibly admit to liking it. And, and so he, he threw his body in front of the train. Um, but that is the spirit of, 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 um, of internet marketing uh, in, in that election. And the reason Blue State Digital is important is that this is an organization that is built on the proposition that I was just exploring that marketing in the future resides in pockets of passion.